All right, so we have here a Texas Instruments um, Kronos watch, and the firmware has been modified to keep track of Mars time. Uh, currently, you have time on the top, and if you hit the top right button, oh, come on, there we go, we'll have seconds. Um, and then down below is Sol's, so we're on, currently on Sol 31. Um, I have here open the, the Mars Time application from NASA, and if we put it side by side, we'll see 22 minutes, 10 seconds, and then you know, 41, 42. It's a little off because when I t when I sync the times, I actually press it with my finger, so I'm about like half a second off. But this has been running for a couple hours now, and the time has kept just fine. Um, I had a separate timer going, and that drifted like a couple seconds within minutes. Um, but this this has been keeping up. You just kind of have to modify the internal timers in here to keep the seconds at 1.027 and a couple other decimal points from there, but it'll keep uh, Martian seconds. So, Sol 31, Sol 31 as you can see. For curiosity, you can go into the menu if you really wanted. Um, here, we'll go back into normal time here, and then I'll have to skip through all this other extra stuff that the watch came with. But if you hold the saw button down, you can modify the year and the saw you're on. Right now I'm going to keep it on saw 31 because it's actually saw 31. Uh, you can also hold the top left button, the star button, and modify the time. Uh, so yeah, here's the Mars watch, and... Uh, some code going there. I had to modify one of the timers that actually kept track of the seconds. Um, I haven't exactly calculated the drift, but there's ways to compensate for that and figure all that stuff out, but so far, uh, so good.